Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hey guys, let me know what type of videos, what type of coin videos you want to see here on the channel. I'm going to do some thrifting videos as well where I go to the thrift store, buy things, resell them on eBay, show you guys what I make on the profits there. So let's just hop right into it. We're going to be looking at some rare quarters that are worth money, some mint error quarters, and uh, some of these are pretty extreme. So let's look at this first coin here. So here we have a quarter from 1974. You see that it looks very normal here on the reverse of the Washington quarter but if we look here at the front you can see that the front of the coin the obverse has been struck through a capped die so that is the mint error taking place on this coin it is graded by NGC at a mint state 66 and this Washington quarter sold for over $285 so always be on the lookout for interesting things like this. These types of errors can happen on all kinds of different coins, not just quarters. Now here is a 1976 Bicentennial Washington quarter. We see here on the front of the Washington quarter, not much going on again. But if we go to the reverse of the coin, this is where the value comes in. So the 1976D, this coin was actually struck through a wire here on the reverse of the coin. We could see that wire going through the quarter. So that actually happened at the mint when the coin was produced. Now this coin sold for over $700, a $700 quarter. So man, finding something like that obviously is like one of a kind, super, super rare. Uh, there are others out there that I've showed in other videos, but man, that is super, super rare. Here's another cap die coin. You can pretty much, uh, you know, the error speaks pretty much for itself. You don't need a coin microscope or anything to look for errors like this. This coin sold for over $600. Now here is a brockage error taking place on a 1976. We're gonna look at a couple 1976 Washington quarters here. You know, you can't really tell here on the reverse that it's an error really. It kind of looks like damage until you flip it over to the front of the coin and we see that brockage on the front. No front design. You can kind of see it there, a little bit of the date and Washington's neck there, but you do see the reverse design here uh, coming through on the front of the coin. Now, as a result of that mint error, this quarter sold for over $700. Now here's a coin, you know, I talk about these a lot. I know maybe some people may get bored of seeing these, but it is a 1974 Denver minted Washington quarter that was struck on a one cent planchet. So it only weighs 2.9 grams. Uh, you can see that the whole design obviously does not fit on a one cent coin planchet. And because of that, this quarter sold for over $700 as well. Back to the 1976 Bicentennial quarter. Again, normal here on the reverse but the error is taking place here on the obverse, which this one's really cool because it was struck through a cloth. So some kind of cloth material uh, got in the way when this coin was being struck. So that is really, really awesome. I would love to have one of these in my collection. This coin sold for over $600. And the same thing with this, but this is just a different example, struck through a cloth, same dated coin, 1976. And this coin sold for over $800. So man, those are uh, super, super rare coins there. Now here is a 1982 proof quarter that has the obverse struck through. So the front of the coin struck through. You see the proof here, flawless here on the back, but uh, here on the front is that strike through taking place. Now this quarter from 1982 sold for over $700 also. Here's a pretty extreme error. It's a 1983 Piedmont Mark Philadelphia minted. It has been double struck with the second strike being 65% off center. You know, these types of errors, again, you know, speak for themselves. Uh, you know, something like this uh, is uh, pretty super rare and is not gonna stay in circulation long at all uh, if it does get into circulation. This quarter here sold for over $600. Here's a 1999 state quarter. Now, first glance, you might not really uh, pay attention. You know, if you're not really, you know, if you're new to coin collecting or things like that, you might not really notice something like this if you're just, you know, paying with quarters or sticking quarters in a machine or whatnot. Definitely always check your coins because, you know, this coin isn't super valuable, but it's a 25 cents uh, a quarter that turned into $70, $70. So that's what it sold for, 70 bucks. And it's because it's been broad struck. You see that there around the rim of the coin. We see that here 
uh, again on this side. All right, here is a 1999 stake quarter that's been double struck, broad struck, and uh, the stripe being off center there. So man, that is incredible. Look at that. Could you imagine finding something like this? This coin sold for over $800. Again, another extreme error, 1999 state quarter. It's been struck four times off center. Man, that is uh, pretty amazing as well. This error coin sold for over $690. Again, nearly a $700 quarter. Now here's just an off center, regular off center. You can look for those on you know any type of coins. Uh, this is a 1999, again, state quarter, and it sold for over 75 bucks. Not too bad. You know, personally, 75 bucks, I would probably not get it graded. I would sell it on eBay as is. Too much to get it graded uh, to sell it at that price. You know, here's a 2001 state quarter. Now, this one is really cool. Now, this could definitely fit in a coin roll, a quarter coin roll. So it's been struck three times off center. You can see the design there here on the front of the coin as well. And because of that error, this coin sold for over $490. So nearly a $500 quarter there. Here is a no dated quarter, obviously, because it's been struck way off center. And we can see that there in the images displayed. Now this coin here sold for over $130. Now you see how the whole coin is blank. You know, most of the coin is blank. Now if you come across coins where the whole thing is completely blank, you know, it's just a round quarter, you know, don't pay attention to the right of the coin. If it's just a round quarter and it's a blank, those are called blank planchets. They don't have the design, you know, stamped onto the planchet. You can look for those on pennies and other coins as well also. Now here is another statehood quarter and uh, this has got the P mint mark. It has an obverse die cap as well. And because of that, this coin sold for over $720. Of course, we don't have the design here on the reverse, so uh, we don't know the date of the coin. Check out some of these other coins that you should always be on the lookout for. Now this one here, if we look here on the front of the quarter, you can see that it looks fairly normal, right? But if we go to the back, it's got like a brownish colorish tone to it. And that is the actual inner copper layer core of the coin. So what this is, is missing the cloud layer. You see the cloud layer here on the front of the coin, but it's missing here on the back. So that's what gives the coin some value. And of course, the grade of the coin is always going to affect its value as well. This coin's graded at a mint state 67. Now, this coin here sold for over $1,300. Next up is a coin that just recently sold on eBay. Well, it sold on May 4th, 2019. So if you're watching this video five years from now, you know, it just now didn't sell on eBay. But you know what I mean. This coin here sold for over $100 because it is the 2005 Kansas State Quarter that is missing the T in trust. So this is pretty famous. If we zoom in here, it seems like it only says, in God we rust. That's a fairly, uh, you know, well-known one that a lot of collectors uh, pretty much know. And really even the non-collectors, you know, the people that aren't so hardcore about coin collecting. This is a simple one that really everyone knows that you can look for in your pocket change. So very awesome quarter. It's not graded by a coin grading company. It sold as is for a hundred bucks. So the better your condition of your coin, if you find one, the more it's gonna sell for, of course. So a hundred bucks, not too bad. Now here's another 2005 quarter that is missing the cloud layer. Now this is on the Kansas State quarter. So we can see the front of the quarter looks fine. Back of the quarter, missing the cloud layer, clearly visible. And uh, this quarter here sold for over $500. $500. If we move on to another error quarter, this is the 2005 Oregon State quarter. Now this one has a clipped planchet, okay? So we can see that clip taking place there in the image displayed. It looks like someone just, uh, you know, took a tool to it and just cut it right in half, you know? pretty much or took a big chunk out of it. Now that is actually a mint error. So there's a lot of clipped errors out there on different denominations of coins. So always be on the lookout. Some of them are definitely not as big as this one. Some of them are small, some of them are larger, but this quarter did sell for over $170. 
Now here's a West Virginia State Quarter. Now this one is kind of difficult to see, but it does have a reverse die break. So you can see on the coin slab it says at the four o'clock mark. So if we look at it like we would a clock, you would see that die break taking place on this quarter. Very, it's very hard to see, but I hope you guys are, are able to see that die break there. I can see it. So this West Virginia quarter here sold for over $230. Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle, check out the videos to the left of me, and until tomorrow, I'll see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.